Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you are in the world. It's Michael here. Um, I hope you're all well. Um, it's been a while since I did a video, so I thought I'd um, put up a new video today, uh, looking at the markets using supply and demand. And seeing that it's the last day of July 2019, I thought I would um, look at monthly charts as the candles are going to close today. Um, Thank you to all of you who've been in touch with me requesting information about the mentoring program and joining the roundtable. Um, I hope you all um, have the information re requested and I know some of you have already um, signed up. So again, if you wanted to contact me to, to look at mentoring options, um, it's storehouseanalytics at gmail.com. Um, and the other thing I want to mention was that we have... Uh, been talking about having a uh, the next TIOF um, that's trading institutional order flow webinar um, and it's now going to be set for Saturday the 10th of August um, and that will be at 8 30 p.m. UK time that's 8 30 p.m. London time on the 10th of August 2019 so as usual if you would like to attend um, please just send your um, email address to me at storehouseanalytics at gmail.com and I will put you on the list. Um, it'll be um, via join.me. That's the app that we will use. So please download the app. Um, it's free, I understand, and it gives a smoother, better connection. A link to the webinar will be sent out on the day. Um, once um, the list is complete, I always like to give as much time for everyone who wants to, to join to register their interests so it'll be sent out on, on the morning of the day. Um, the webinar will be about 45 minutes to an hour long depending on how much you guys talk. Um, me, I can talk about trading, supply and demand and particularly the psychology of the speculator from now till the cows come home. So bring your questions, bring your queries and, and let's have um, a good time looking at the markets and hopefully improving each other. All right, so this just mark it in your calendars. It's the 10th of August, 2019, Saturday, and it's 8.30 p.m. London time. It'll be recorded, so for the attendees, you will get the recording. All right, so let's take a look at the markets. We're going to look at monthly charts today, um, just so you guys know, um, and then we'll, in other videos, we can hone in a bit and go closer to, to price using um, smaller time frames. Maybe even today if we have time. We have a few markets to go through. So starting with the US dollar, particularly today with the FOMC news coming out, it's likely to be a big mover of price for, for all the majors really, depending on what the FOMC projections are. So as we can see on the, on the US dollar, we are in an uptrend here. Prices have continue to hold demand zones even though they've struggled and there's been a lot of talk about the dollar possibly crashing um, but the monthly chart is continuously going up it's slow it's very steady uh, it's not breaking down so we have to assume based on the information we have in front of us that um, the chances of going higher are better than the chances of turning at this point in time now that may all change with the news coming out but as we can see, demand levels are still holding. So shorting up in here it will still be against the prevailing trend. I know some of you have that in your trading plan and there are ways to do that, which um, I, I, I teach the roundtable members and we, we know how to do that safely. Um, there are various methods. It's, just, it's not just one. But for now, going long would be um, um, the more appropriate trade than going short. Just quickly, if we look at the weekly chart, just going closer into price, we can see that we have this 98.37 area um, to to break through. We're still not, we haven't gone through that yet. We've managed to get through some selling that happened in here, and we're pushing higher. Ideally, we'd want 98.37 to be broken through, and then we can use um, this area as a, as a possible um, area to be looking to go long, especially because of the gap that's in there as well and in terms of what we have above us right now as we've I've talked about with with our, our group of guys we have this sitting above us 
so watching those two levels in in the US dollar going forward and we'll see how prices pan out today with the FOMC coming out for now you can see the market's been as I said very slow uptrend it's more to the upside than to the downside um, we can see there's lots of momentum still to the upside it's not breaking down even when we've had demand zones removed we've come back down and we've gone up and started creating demand again so 9837 will be the level to watch if that is broken then the uptrend will likely continue with pullbacks being bought um, until we start breaking demand zones definitively and getting follow through to the downside so breaking it um, breaking it here but then it went straight into a monthly level and it's then continued to rally up so the monthly at the moment is is pushing prices and every attempt to break it down on smaller time frames is is being met with buying now that will be the opposite for the euro which you can see on the monthly the euro continues to hold its supply zones as well they're being created and demand zones are being broken through that's the most recent um, demand zone that was broken through right there um, just take that off so it doesn't confuse us so we're still motoring on down the momentum is still to the downside um, so again buying until we get down here is is a lower probability um, action and also even when we get down there engaging that market around this demand zone lower down here would be one to be mindful of in how it is done um, making sure that you you um, see evidence of of buying coming in before you try to engage it and making sure you have enough of a profit margin if we keep coming down and we're forming supply zones that may not be so good for for the for the demand zone down in here now looking at the aussie us dollar um, again a market against the us dollar with the us dollar pushing higher we have demand down in here very similar pictures you can see this little supply zone as little as it looks here is holding prices down um, so engaging this market at this level um, again would have been tricky because it wouldn't have met the criteria for us so I, I traded it um, briefly using smaller time frames but in terms of a monthly weekly daily time sequence um, no because the the move away was not strong enough um, and and the zone itself had a had a, a poor structure all right so that's what we're looking at for the monthly the monthly candle is going to close today so we'll see what what happens here let's go quickly to the weekly and you can see the weekly level that was the level that was traded um, prices rallied into it and they made a new low but now they've made a new high so we're very very flat right now in the Aussie US um, so trading um, trend following methodologies um, including supply and demand may may have been quite challenging over the last um, few months so we're watching it still again remember the big news coming out today so nothing to do in terms of a longer term trader right now but to sit on your hands and watch which I know um, for a lot of us can be quite challenging and difficult but it's not impossible and it's what will be necessary um, to make sure that we don't waste our bullets ie our account sizes so looking at the pound US dollar with all the brexit n issues going on and the new prime minister and the plans being made for no uh, no deal brexit we we have seen the pound suffer quite a bit particularly in the last week uh, and the last few days so now we're, if we close this candle this month like this now we have a new supply zone in a previously tested demand zone this was the first test of this area down in this in this area here so if we go on and we move down lower ideally we want this level to be violated and prices to trade through it but even the, if they don't that if prices close like this today this month this would be um, a supply zone to keep an eye on and, and not tr try to go long against okay we clearly still have momentum is still to the downside so buying buying this market at the moment is um, going against the momentum it's going against the trend so engaging it um, 
on this time frame anyway in this sequence um, on a daily chart will require some patience making sure that we see evidence of some buying coming in all right so keep an eye on that for the longer term traders amongst you and the US dollar Canadian um, is beginning to show some weakness um, we have removed demand uh, marked in the green we've traded below that and with that we've now created some supply above and you can see that the momentum is now to the downside um, so if prices continue to go down the next area possibly to look at would be this it's not a fresh area because we've already had um, we've already had one test to it um, right in here so it, it but it, it's such a, a shallow test you might want to still keep an eye on it um, and, and and see how prices react again we wouldn't trade this as a set and forget because it's it's been tested before but we would not mind looking for uh, buying opportunities when prices get down here now in terms of opportunities to sell um, I would probably look inside here on a daily chart maybe that would give us a clearer view um, so there isn't anything on the daily though if you look in here on a smaller time frame you'll probably find um, a level to try and short against at the moment the daily is trying to get through this but it's trying to go against the sideways daily trend with momentum to the downside broken on the daily um, like so and you have demand now being created on the daily so this market may enter a bit of a sideways move um, in the next few days and weeks so nothing immediately jumping out uh, as a tradable um, idea there um, let's take a look at the US dollar Japanese again a market that's quite flat um, not going anywhere really quickly it's been quite flat we still have supply holding we have lower lows lower highs still being made we've managed to maintain this low so this low at the moment becomes quite an important low um, it becomes quite an important low that hasn't been broken yet but this high also becomes an important high that hasn't been broken yet so we're, we're very flat so watching this market right now where it is it's trading in the middle not really an ideal location for us to be looking for any source of trade um, on this time frame anyway if you look on the weekly again quite flat we remove some supply but we haven't actually created enough any sort of momentum to the upside yet so we are still again flat on the weekly so a lot of these markets are not really moving and i'm sure some of you have seen it in your own trading again another flat market the new zealand us dollar you've seen that these markets are, are not trading which i suppose would make the case for those of you who can to also have other markets that you're looking at like you know the metals or looking at bonds or looking at stocks um, for those of you who trade options just so that if there isn't too much movement on on the on on the one market that you look at then you can diversify into into other areas um, using the same methodology nothing changes it's the market mechanics that you need to be aware of for example in stocks you need to be aware of earnings um, for options you need to be aware of expiration dates yeah and for if you're trading futures contracts in gold or silver or oil you need to know what those expiration dates are so the but in terms of the actual um, approach of analyzing the market it's transferable across markets across asset classes across time frames um, so you, you wouldn't need to to change too much there okay so uh, us dollar singapore again flat nothing to be done here i've combined two levels of supply in here two drop base drops that's why you have such a big zone um, and we've got we've had a pullback didn't quite make it down again to two levels of demand down in here and we're again stuck in the middle let's see if we have any more information on the weekly not really not really it's again flat it's again flat so we don't we don't do anything with that at least not yet now here's a market that we've been watching and a lot of the roundtable members have been trading this quite successfully trading the long side um, as well making quite a lot of money which is always a good thing um, so we're looking at gold now beginning to break out the momentum is to the upside 
prices have broken through this long-term um, supply zone that's held prices down now for six years or so so we've now managed to poke above it we haven't closed above it which would have been ideal but the fact that prices have managed to trade above it um, for two months now um, is also a good thing so any pullbacks now will be looked at as opportunities to 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 buy this market so if we do get any pullback we're going to be looking to buy even the in the for for another group of traders just pulling back to this sort of area will be will be um, an area that people will look at because it's it's also the area where you had the breakout of of that um, supply zone so watch watching for pullbacks evidence of buying coming in preferably we wanted to get to this lower area this rally based rally all right but gold in the long term is looking like a buy for us we have um no real evidence of of um or any reason to be to be going short at least not on the big picture time frame let's take a quick look at it on the weekly so on the weekly you can see that we have a, a clear high quality zone rally based rally and prices are trading above here so pull pullbacks to here and then obviously lower into here are definitely buying opportunities for us that we are i can tell you we are watching and waiting for in terms of what's above us we are looking at supply right there which is what what's been hit so that's when when you go into a smaller time frame and you have a closer look so we're watching those levels in in gold and see we'll see what happens um, when prices get there so that those are the ideas we have um, and silver silver has been on the weekly chart which i'll show you in a second has been quite it's pushed quite a lot and it's caught a lot of people by surprise because it's a market that's been in a in a downtrend for a while um, for a few years now um, but it's beginning to show um, some evidence of buying coming into it now we have upside momentum established we still don't have a, an uptrend but we have an upside momentum established we still have a bit of work to do to get through that supply now on the weekly chart you can see the work i was talking about prices came into a rally based rally that took out supply zones to the left of it um, a rally based rally pulled back into it and where where we are so we're now sitting in this big wide area on on the um, which is a monthly level and we're waiting to see now if we pull back again we have a new level here um, that we may want to to look at for any pullbacks that come into into silver so let's take a look at oil um, oil on the monthly chart um, so you can see the demand zone that was removed with this big drop in price prices have rallied came very close some would say um, have has already reached it really um, and then it's pulled back a bit and it's now again caught in the middle so not really going anywhere very fast in in oil at least not on the monthly chart and then when you look at it on the weekly again not nothing really happening so we're holding fire on oil at the moment if you're trading smaller time frames you're probably looking for a short um up into these areas um because this market has gone really flat but it's in the middle still it's not reached th this this level um, and it's not reached that level of demand in there so watching it and waiting sitting on your hands okay so i'm going to end the video there guys it's good to be back thank you all for your well wishes and for, for getting in touch remember the 10th of august 8 30 p.m uk time again if you're interested just send your email address to storehouseanalytics at gmail.com i look forward to seeing you all there i wish you all the best Take care, everyone. Bye for now.